Martin Luther, 16th century. Christians should recognize God's wonders and learn from them to rely on him. Why would we even want to despair? The cherry tree doesn't, even though in winter it stands bare without leaves or fruit. It trusts the word that God has spoken, bursts forth in summer and blossom, and relies on it. And when summer comes, it leaves out and blossoms. The field does not despair, even though in winter it lies there, frozen and covered with snow, without a single blade of grass to be seen. We ought to learn from these everyday wonders to trust in God and not despair, even though at times our situation seems poor. There is no need to worry. Our needs will be provided if we but trust our God. And what more is wanted? If our needs are met and we are prevented from freezing to death or from starving, that is enough. If we have what we need, our hearts and bodies can be satisfied and we can be in good spirits and happy. On the other hand, when we have too much, greed and worry weigh down our hearts and bodies Rather, we should be content with what God provides. As we read in Psalm 145, you open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing, because we have all we really need. The miracle, then, has been written down for our good and to give us comfort, so that we might remember it and profess, I trust and am sure that my needs will be met even if it might be in a meager way. For the Lord has but two fish and five loaves of barley bread, and with them he fed five thousand men plus women and children, and everyone had enough. And what he did there he shows us year by year, day by day, with the trees, fields, meadows, lakes, and streams, and all creatures, so that apples, pears, wheat, barley, grass, fish, and everything else needed to sustain life are produced. He does this so that we can believe that he will sustain us. It is his will that we will have enough to eat, be there but own only one fish multiplied to 10,000, or one loaf to 100,000. Therefore, in poverty, we must not be afraid, but wait on his good will. Martin Luther